Gang, gang, we in this thing. It's your boy, Atreus. Guys, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. Go ahead and keep hitting the like button. Keep subscribing and keep sharing these videos out so we can hit it and have our 1,000 celebration uh, stream. We're going to talk about the future of the channel and everything we got coming, you know, near future. Uh, so let's get it, man. Right into the video. What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Give me and we're back ladies and gentlemen i have a special video for you we're trying something new we are playing pokemon today now if you haven't noticed i have not done a review on this channel in quite some time um am i just defloating um i have not done a review on this channel in quite some time partly because in order to be able to do the reviews that I really want to do, we're talking about videos that's going to take upwards of 20, 30, 40 minutes long. And I don't, to be honest with you, I don't feel like I've earned your time like that yet. And so I want to try something new in that I'm not going to do a bunch of talking and this, that, and the third. We're going to do a top five. All right. I'm going to give you top five things that I love. And I hate about shows, movies, video games, etc. All right. So, of course, I am playing Pokemon, the Scarlet version. I have not finished the game. So, this isn't like a like a full review or something like that. This is simply a, you know, things that I love, things that I hate. And then, you know, I'll just give, I'll just give a number at the end, right? All right. So, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. So, I'm going to start with something that I lo love. As you can see at the top of this video, you saw me jumping off of a mountaintop, flying across the landscapes. The traversal in this game is amazing. All right. Um, what you'll see is that they give you this, this Pokemon in the beginning. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but the way you upgrade him is crazy. You'll be able to ride on him. Um, you know, walk, run, dash. You'll learn to dash. You'll learn to jump high. You'll learn to, um, you know, fly like I just did. And I haven't even unlocked all of the abilities yet. I, he's recently learned to surf. So the days of learning to fly and surf through HMs is over with. You no longer have to worry about HMs taking up spots on your Pokemon's uh, movesets. So I love that. As you can see, I'm swimming here. Okay, so what is... What is um, what is something that I hate? All right. <laughs> One of the things that I hate. Let me show you. I do not like some of the designs on these new Pokemon. All right. Some of these Pokemon look absolutely ridiculous. Like this guy right here. Like seriously, what are we doing here? Stone Joner? Really? Stone Joner? Whatever it is. Uh, what else we got here? We, we got Gimme Ghoul. I don't. Oops. I don't know if this guy evolves or whatever. It is. I know a lot of these things we have in like one evolution. This is like, what are we doing? I guess they're running out of ideas on some of these. I do like like this. I don't know if this is this generation. I do like stuff like this. See, I can I can get with stuff like this, right? Um, but you know, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Like, let me see if I can find another one that's absolutely egregious. Um, like, come on, guys, guys, really? <laughs> I'm not that mad at this one. I, again, I don't know if this one evolves or what. Like, because I'm not at the point. I'm at the point where I'm ca I'm catching everything, but I'm not necessarily evolving everything. Um, so you know, it is what it is. The designs could have used. A bit of work all right let's get let's move on to something that i love all right so there's this new mechanic in pokemon right where you can send your pokemon to you know battle without you right and so they can go off and they earn experience and they fight on their own as you can see look at them and you can go off and you can explore now you can't go that far all right it's 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 not like, like, as a matter of fact, I'll just, you know, run a, a distance and you'll see. And then he automatically comes back to your Pokemon. So it's not that, that you can go that far. But where I find this extremely useful 
is that when you're in the area and you're searching for a very particular Pokemon, and you know you're going to be there looking for it for a while. Oh, back to my previous point. Like, what the fuck is this? Is this an engine? <laughs> look at it. What is it called? It's called Room or something like that. I caught one, but it's like, look at this guy. And he forces himself on me. I mean, this is an engine, guys. But anyway, so yeah. So your Pokemon can go and fight without you. Earn experience. It's not that much experience, but it's still experience while you're looking for the Pokemon that you're looking for. So what will happen is, is on the map, if you look on the map uh, at the bottom right hand corner, you'll, you'll come to specific places where they will show you there is an outbreak of certain Pokemon in that area. And so sometimes you'll see very rare Pokemon on there. But if this damn Flamingo Pokemon don't leave me alone, <laughs> get him, go away. <laughs> uh, if, if, <laughs> if you're looking for a specific Pokemon, so like if I look here, let's say for instance, I'm really interested in this Pokemon right here. I'm looking for him, but he's not around. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to look for him. I can just send my Pokemon out to like battle while I'm looking. Like, yeah, bro, you go out and you do your thing. You train. Also, while picking up items, you know what I'm saying? Picking up items off of these Pokemon. Look at him. He's just giving Psyduck the business. Like, Psyduck doesn't know what's going to hit him. I also like the design of this Pokemon. He looks like Gorzilla. Anyway, so yeah, he just follows you around. Also, the steps count as well. So, I think this is a really neat feature. You get your, your Pokemon sent out, walking next to you, and you can just sick them on people. Like, get this Flamingo motherfucker out of my face, man. Come on. What you doing? What are you doing? All right, so what's something else that I hate? Okay, obviously, the graphics. <laughs> the graphics look absolutely putrid on this game. All right, I'm 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 sorry to say, but there's a lot of I mean, like look at like what are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about? Like look at these trees. Seriously, <laughs> seriously, is this what we're doing? The graphics look horrendous. This looks like I don't want to go back and say a PlayStation game. But to me, this looks like a PS2 game. PS2, maybe PS3. Um, this, this, I mean, I just think this is unacceptable as far as the graphics are concerned. All right, there's a lot of pop in. Look at the textures. This looks horrendous. This isn't the best area of the game, but um, it's just bad. All right, let's move on to something that I love. The quality of life improvements, guys. Okay, so quality of life includes things like, um, again, we talked about the traversal now. There's no more learning to fly. All right, you can open up the map. You can pick a place on the map, uh, and you can just fly there. Even from the beginning of the game, like if you go to a new area and you want to get back to an old area, the days of having to travel all the way through the map because you haven't found HM Fly yet, Hidden Machine Fly are over. The Pokemon Center is now outdoors, so it saves you a little bit of time. Instead of walking through a door and all of this, nope, the Pokemon Center is outside. You can talk straight to them. You got the, the Pokemart right next to it. Also, you can craft TMs now. So if you want to make TMs, they got this list of TMs that you unlock, you know, based on how many Pokemon that you fought and moves that you learned and used. And you can come and craft them using materials you gather from Pokemon out in the wild, whether it's catching them or defeating them. This makes teaching your Pokemon new moves a lot. See, I didn't even know I had U-turn. This is new. This makes teaching your Pokemon moves very exciting because you no longer have to go out and buy it. You can craft them now. And you can craft as many as you want so long as you got the materials. Also, guys, quality of life. When you get into a fight with the Pokemon, the, the menus make it a lot easier, right? So what you'll notice in this battle right here, at the bottom, you see where... At the bottom in the middle where it says check status, right above it, you'll see a Pokeball. So you no longer have to go to the menus to to throw a Pokeball. Remember, you used to have to go to bag and this, that, and the third. Nope, you can just hit the X button and you can cycle through the Pokeballs, hit the button, and throw one. This makes it really quicker. There you go. Just that quick, all right? If you ignore the graphics, Jesus Christ, those graphics are terrible. All right, let's move on to something that I hate. The performance. The performance of this game is garbage. <laughs> Complete garbage. Again, we talk, We already talked graphics. We already talked textures. But oftentimes, you'll see, like, 
some Pokemon will just outright disappear. Sometimes when you're battling, you'll see um, you'll see um, your Pokemon not on the screen, so it look like an invisible Pokemon is there. Other time we talked about the pop in, they're stuttering, there's frame rate drops. I'm pretty sure you've noticed some of it while watching this video. But also the most egregious thing to me is the game has crashed. Now it hasn't been a lot, admittedly, it hasn't been a lot, but the game has crashed. That can be hyper frustrating if the game doesn't auto save now there is an auto save feature so that's good as you can see you can see some of the stuttering here the game is stuttering it's not the video it's the game the game does stutter there are frame rate drops additionally there's times where the game is just bugging out right the game bugs out and um oh shoot that's new hello yeah so the game bugs out like so in the beginning of the game i was in a room where i couldn't click on like they wanted me to talk to somebody but i i couldn't I couldn't talk to him because I kept hitting the A button and nothing would happen. So, yeah, just little things like that. So, let's talk about more things that I love. The open world in this game is just flat out amazing. You know what I'm saying? Um, being able to go where you want to go, not being hindered by, you know, uh, linear. Like, you can go anywhere, guys. Like, I stumbled upon an area I had no business in. Like, I was in an area my Pokemon are on level 20-something. I'm lit, I'm moving, I'm catching everything in my sight. And I want to say I ran up on a Scyther, and the Scyther was like level 48. And I didn't notice. Now, what I will complain about, like, where, they, where they're showing sometimes the um, the Pokemon levels, I didn't notice right away that he was level 48. So I'm fighting this Scyther. And me, I'm the type of person where I tend to like to fight everything, and I like to catch everything. So my Pokemon tend to be stronger than all of the other Pokemon during the end game. Well, not this time, because this Scyther was clapping my entire team and I couldn't figure out why until I got down to like my second to last Pokemon and I realized holy shit this fucking Scyther is on level 48 and I had to hit the dash <laughs> I hit the dash all right additionally guys seeing these Pokemon out in the wild doing their thing is so much better than tall grass it is hilarious to me running into these Pokemon let me just start a battle right here and uh just seeing other Pokemon around it, just just walking by, some of them will really run up and watch you fight. They'll, they'll just watch the battle. More, on the more hilarious front, you'll be in situations where you're trying to look for a rare Pokemon, and then you'll get into a battle with another Pokemon, and you're sitting there trying to get rid of them. And then in the background back there, as you can see, like I don't know if you can see that right there. No, not him. Back there, there's a Pokemon moving back there, right? In the grass. You don't know who it is. It, it looks like a Murkrow from right here. But, like, you're sitting here battling, and you're like, man, there's Murkrow in this area. I really want a Murkrow. And while you're doing your thing, ha, huh, wouldn't you fucking know it? There's a Murkrow sitting in the back. And so you're trying to hit the run button as fast as you can. You're like, holy shit. There he is. And then you run over there. Hello, Murkrow. That's that's hilarious it, this murkrow seems very small that's hilarious to me it's act it's pretty good i love it it's adorable because they'll come up and they'll watch like look at these turtles the turtles are like so you really escaped our battle ran away like a pump to go and fight with a little bitty ass weak ass murkrow <laughs> they're dead serious and, and he's still trying to attack me look at him <laughs> but anyway as far as the story goes, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't play Pokemon. I do not play Pokemon for the story. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, now, that that can be annoying. But, yeah, I don't I don't really play Pokemon for the story. If you do, I apologize. But as far as I'm concerned, um, there's, like, Team, Team Star, I think it is. <laughs> and they're, like, blocking off places. Speaking of that, also, the last thing I'm going to put in, because there's only three things I dislike about this game. Guys, if you can get past... The performance if you can get past the graphics and you can get past some of these weak pokemon designs this is an amazing game now the performance counts for a lot it counts for a lot guys uh, getting badges isn't the only thing they want you to do in this game so it used to be the formula used to be simple catch pokemon train them challenge gym leaders get to the elite four not anymore all right not only do you got to go and get your eight badges but you also have to um there are these titan 
Pokemon that you have to encounter. And also, you have to defeat all of the Team Star leaders. And so, you can tackle them in any order you want to. In any order. You could be, you could technically take on all the Titans and the Team Stars without having a single badge. At least to my knowledge. Remember, I'm not finished with the game. I think I got four badges. So, for all I know, there could be a badge that's like blocked off. And one last thing, I like some of the new unique ways to um, to evolve certain Pokemon. I'll give you an example. Um, in my party right now, there's this guy. I do not know how to... I do not know how to um, pronounce his name. But this is a cool little Pokemon right here. He's like a knight, fire, sidekick. But he was a little guy. He was a little guy before. And you see this yellow armor he has on? In order to evolve him... You have to go and get this armor. And the way that you get it is you have to go and defeat 10 browsers or bronzers, I'm sorry, and then trade the materials for the armor and give it to them. I thought that was unique. There's other Pokemon that you have to evolve, like Ponyard, right? Um, this guy, after he evolves, he gets a third evolution. But you got to go out into the wild and fight those evolution forms before you can evolve them. So there's unique ways to evolve. But otherwise... The, the 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 just of it is guys the negatives are going to be basically the graphics and performance the new pokey designs that's subjective maybe you'll like them i just found them a little weak but obviously you got traversal here you got open world you got the new training system the quality of life improvements you got you know the map the fact that you can open up the map right now and see which pokemon are in your area there's an outbreak of slow pokes right here that's dope to me so if i was to give this like a grade Unfortunately, I can't give it above a six and a half out of ten because the performance is so important. It can it can literally be the thing that turns somebody on and off from a game. So that's my grade. Uh, I do advise that you get this game though because if you could if you could get past the performance and the graphics, this is an amazing game. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and check out. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Talk to y'all later. That thing down like you started a tantrum, my baby. Yeah. You had some plans with your man, just tell him to cancel, my baby. Oh. Yeah. Slide to the curler like Dracula's mansion, my baby. Yeah. When you pull up, it's on action, my baby.